All right. All right. Wonder talking to him. Get our customer. Our customer. Our customer's return. <laughs> I have eyes. Can I not? I see. I see him. I see him. Stop pestering me, weasened old bag of bones. She turns towards you and modulates her voice. What can old Micah do for you? Uh, ask about the factions. The factions? The factions? Ha! All they have done is tax this poor shop nearly to death, driven us to the hive or worse, and make Broca even less of a man than he already is. You shut your mouth. I am more than a man, a man than you'll ever be. He pauses, reconsiders his, wor his words, and eyes his wife critically. Perhaps not, to be sure you have more of a mustache than most men I've ever seen. <laughs> she splutters incoherently for a moment, and then launches into a tirade that blisters your ears, and soon broke his shouting just as loudly. <laughs> uh, maybe ask about buying something. <laughs> oh, this is going to take a while. Um, I'm sure these two questions are definitely going to launch them into a, an argument. So, yeah, okay, right to the point. When money's involved. Let's see what they have. Shards of Fate. These are gauntlets. Although heavy metal plates protect the user's hands, they remain a slight chance that some of the shards may strike the user. 10 through 100 piercing breaks after first use. So does that mean I can only use them once? Uh. A cockroach charm, I don't think we've seen that before. Hmm. Probably find some of those somewhere. A glass eye. Hmm. Is this magical fire? Uh, means Mm, not much. And she's got, looks like regular cheese, not poison cheese. Okay. Done. So, I'm gone. I really didn't learn much. I'm gone. At the pawn shop. I'm gone. Done. Next, I think we'll go over to Coffin Maker. All right. All right. All right. Strange building appears to be a coffin maker shop. The sign about the door has the sl slogan "Engineered for Eternity." My lungs feel like a chimney. Clearly written upon it. Is there a way in? Oh yeah. Dim tree and hammers. Oh, guess I can take that without anybody noticing. I'm gone. <laughs> Okay. So it looks like these two are buddies. You see a tall, slender man with a glassy-eyed expression. He seems engrossed in some tale that the shopkeeper is relating. Occasionally he nods his head but makes no comments of his own. I think I'm going to talk to the shopkeeper first. You see a rugged-looking, square-jawed man. He turns to you with a wide smile. 
How are you, Cutter? Good day to you. Good day indeed. He squints at you for a second, then jets his hand out to shake yours. Ham reset your service, member of the Harmonium and the fashioner of fine coffins for the recently departed. I think I know you, do I not? Let me see if I can place it. He pauses to think a moment. Sharp with names I was in the Harmonium, let me tell you. Knew everyone on the entire ward. Uh... I'm gonna lie and... I think we'll just ask him some questions. Uh... I hear your father died? I guess we heard that somewhere. Um... Who's your friend? He glances at the customer. Dimtree? He shrugs like he hadn't considered the fellow before. Quiet doesn't say much. Do you, Dimtree? Dimtree doesn't respond, but simply gives the same blank expression. A few seconds later, he nods. <laughs> Hammer shrugs, turns back to you. Wandered in one day a few weeks back, been a regular ever since. <laughs> he hasn't bought anything, but he doesn't cause any trouble, so I let him stay. Seems harmless enough. You see, when I was serving the Harmonium, part of our work was to take people under our wing, give them a little shelter from the chaos of the streets, get them spruced up. Mm, I see. He nods at you. Ask away. Uh, I guess we'll ask about his father. He frowns at you. Well, he disappeared some time ago, so I can only assume that he is dead. Where did you hear this? <laughs> yeah, I don't recall. You see, he disappeared. He nods. Oh yes, many, many years ago. My father was a talented stones mason, and he did not only construct sarcophagi, but he was also quite skilled in tomb design. People from across Sigil... The room begins to fade around you as a memory. Tugs at your consciousness. I wonder if he's the guy who built the to our tomb. Updated my journal. You find yourself standing in this very shop, talking to with an older man while a child sits in the corner and plays. On the counter between you and the shopkeeper is a set of plans. He seems to be explaining some intricacies with, th with the construction of a tomb. Your vision fades as you try to examine the details of the plans. When your sight returns, you are standing in a cavern in front of a tomb. Above the entry, you see the slogan, Engineered for Eternity, clearly carved in the stone. The shopkeeper is standing next to you, a broad smile on his face. He gestures to you and begins to walk into the tomb. You quickly match his pace from behind and draw your blade. You find yourself back in Hamry's shop. It is looking at you with some concern. Uh, tell me what happened to your father. He simply vanished one day, leaving most of his commissions unfinished. Most embarrassing, took a long while to get out of the debt caused by his disappearance. And to an extent, I am still settling various accounts. Still, I have a certain aptitude for the work, and he sighs lightly and gets a faraway look in his eyes. He shrugs. Sorry, I was just thinking. My father's disappearance was the reason I joined the Harmonium, and I left it later on. At first I had a burning desire to find out what happened to him. Later I felt a certain obligation to continue his life's work. He sighs. I never found the answers I sought. It was quite the mystery as to what happened. His voice fades into silence. Uh, yeah, did your father give any plans? He thinks for a moment. Yes, he did. After I came of age and inherited the business, I went through all of his records. They were quite extensive. If I describe a tomb to you, could you tell me what was your father's work? He, th he frowns in thought, then shrugs. I can but try. My harmonium training has blessed me with a sharp memory. I should be able to recognize my father's work if you give me enough details. Describe the tomb. He thinks for some time. There is little doubt that the tomb you describe is my father's work. The slogan you mentioned has been the family trademark for several generations. He pauses and gives you a strange look. This tomb, where is it located? He describes the location in detail, surprising yourself with the knowledge you have of the area. Hamrys watches you with a concerned look. Odd, I don't recall anything in the family records that would even have permitted him to construct a tomb there. The dustmen are very careful about building rights in real estate, especially beneath the streets of Sigil. He nods enthusiastically. Oh yes, sounds like the drowned nation's catacombs to me. He pauses. I've never been there myself, but I've heard the area described many a time in my years in the Harmonium. Uh, 
Yes, the warehouse where I store my goods handles my business documents as well. Anyway, they were having internal problems of some sort. New management, or some such nonsense. I haven't been able to replenish my stock of late, and I doubt I could retrieve any paperwork from them either. The Harmonium would never let things get so out of hand as to cause distress at you. Perhaps you would look into the matter for me? I guess we have to. We want those tomb plans. Yes, the warehouse is having some internal problems of some sort, whatever that means. I can't get any stock from them until the matter is cleared up. The Harmonium would never let things get so out of hand. Uh, yeah, I guess I don't have a choice if I want the plans. Updated my journal. He smiles broadly. Excellent. If you deal with the issue satisfactorily, you may have your plans for free. 